example, we'll add a text field to the to the screen. So a text field in GTK is actually known as an entry. So type entry equals GTK dot entry, and we need the text box to appear in something, right? So we don't want the entire window to be a text box. So we're going to create a container, which we'll name fixed, or we can name it screen or whatever you want, and we're going to add the text field to the screen container at 1010 and finally we'll add the, the container to the window now we can run it and we got a simple text box right there uh, you might also want uh, a label to appear so Let's say create text box and stuff to screen. So maybe you also want a label. Um, so GTK label and say like uh, enter your name at position 1010. So the other one would have to move down a little bit. Uh, no, sorry about that. That's I'm going to add it here. Ten ten. So now, if you run it, you'd actually have a, a text field with a question. It's quite some distance. Maybe put it a little bit closer. Maybe indent it a little. Okay. So now it actually asks our our name, and if we type something, nothing happens. So, like the, the buttons, you can connect it to an event. Uh, and entry, we can... Uh, for example, we could link it to a um, key event. Like this. And then we'd have to specify a function to connect to. So now we're connecting the connecting it. We, we when it key is pressed, you get a key release event, and we're connecting it with the function on key release. And obviously, we also need to define that function. So we're going to define it. Now, if you run the program and you type, notice that key uh, key events are re returned. So if you type, uh, we can type widgets dot get text, and it doesn't know widgets because it's a typo. So now if you run it, you'll see that it always contains the text, right? So if you type James, uh, it will contain James. But all the previous events are also captured. So as we type, uh, it's added to the screen. Right, so that's how you capture events from uh, from there.